Hello once again YouTube and welcome to the very first episode of Halo Megablocks 101, a show where we take a small part of the Halo universe, whether it is a vehicle, figure, weapon or anything else, and we analyse all the different modifications, analyse all the different places that they were in, different sets they were in, and all the different pieces of the Halo Megablocks lore to do with a certain thing. We're starting this pilot episode with the Mongoose. We're going to analyse all the different appearances it's made, all the different changes it's gone through, and then we're going to sort of, you know, I'm going to decide my favourite, and then obviously in the comments you can decide your favourite as well. And this is a pilot episode, so please put in the comments what you think could be done differently, what you'd like to see, whatever you want, and also what you'd like me to analyse the history of next. I'm thinking probably drop pods next, but I'm all open to ideas. So, we're going to, we're, we're basically doing mongooses today because we've just been blessed with this awesome Halo Reach all-terrain mongoose that comes with a meal and I've just got my hands on it so I'm going to do a comparison from start to finish on all the different mongooses. So we'll start with the green mongoose. So the first vehicle is the green mongoose. Now this holds extremely high nostalgic value to me because it's pretty much one of the first sets I bought. I believe the first set I ever bought was the Warthog but this was in the top maybe two or three sets that I bought and uh, this was actually released in 2010. I started collecting in 2009 when the very first line came out and I bought a few of them, not all of them, um, but I bought a couple. Uh, this was just when I was getting into Halo and then in 2009 I snapped this set up immediately. I thought it looked amazing, it came with a green Spartan and an Elite and it just looked awesome for its money and the Spartan also came with a sniper rifle which was pretty cool at the time. Now this thing, as I said, is very important to me because this this is the actually the, the proper one. I, I own many of these now, but this is the first one I bought and it stayed on my shelf with all my other stuff since the beginning and it, it, it's really cool. Um, they introduced it originally with this new green camo colour that they're testing out where it was different colours of brown and silver incorporated into the green and it worked really well. And they also had this nice see-through visor whatever, which everyone loved uh, and just was a lovely little compact set it went together really nice and it was nice and compact and then obviously it was the reason that you could just position a figure on top the fact that it was a small nice compact vehicle you could display your figure and it would go very small on your shelf and it was a very cheap set everybody absolutely loved it and for that reason it holds very dear to me it was also a bit dodgy because you know the people could attach onto the back and hang off but it looked a bit weird because there was no stand or anything and they looked like they were sort of just flailing about. So there, were, there was room for improvement, obviously, but this was their first attempt and they sure did nail it. Now, in 2011, they introduced this mongoose in the Battlescape. But that's not where they stopped. They introduced two more mongooses that year in 2011. The first one was this guy, the Black Mongoose. Now, this was introduced in the Elephant. And the second one is the desert one. This was introduced in the Locust. Now, these are both new designs. They completely remolded it compared to the old Mongoose. And to be honest, I think for better for most parts. There are a few things I do not like with the new mold, but some things I do. So I'll get right to it. If we compare the two black ones, you'll start to see what I mean. First of all, they did some nice things like condensed down the stickers at the back. I thought those warning logos were too big and they condensed them down quite a bit. So good on that behalf. They then also made this one uh, curved inward so it fit the actual piece more, the sticker. Um, and that looked better, much better. They also had some dirt effect as well. But then they did this. Look at those. Look at those. They're horrible. They put lights on the front, like on the 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 the. the front of the mongoose it just looked weird they originally put the the lights here you can see best with the green mongoose you can see the lights right there but they just added them on the front which looked awful i didn't like that at all but the main thing they did which is better is introduce this piece which honestly i think made the mongoose 10 times better this piece slots into a little hole in the back like so and this can display your figure on the back which just was a huge deal a huge deal because on my battlescapes i never had a mongoose that didn't have a guy on the back shooting like crazy but like i mentioned before they always looked really bad if they didn't have this stand they always looked like they were flailing about out of control and it just looked messy 
So what I liked about this was that they introduced the back piece. And this back piece just made it look nice, made it look realistic, and just made it look a hell of a lot better. So that was a big improvement on that behalf. When you compare the two mongooses, there isn't too much difference on the build. The build is pretty much the same. On the bottom, it's the same, apart from this back piece that uh, sort of fold, holds it in together. I mean, I know these wheels, these wheels sort of easily broke off. So this time they sort of secured them in place with two bricks, which was really clever. I think they just listened to feedback and improved generally on the product. But yeah, they, they changed the visor slightly, but no big detail. And um, they just made it that little bit bigger, a little bit smarter. And they curved it all off, which I don't know is a good thing in honesty. They curved it all the way round, made it a lot smoother all the way round. And I don't like it as much. I like this blockiness. They also put one stud there instead of all three in the top on the two. I think that sort of moves it away from Mega Blocks, which I don't like. Most people will because it makes it more realistic. But I like the fact that I'm collecting Mega Blocks and it has the studs here. So I don't know. There's a lot of differences, good and bad. But once this new one had been revealed and released, they did not go back. They released the desert one, which is identical in every sense other than the desert color. They released these in the elephant and the locust. Now the elephant was a huge deal because it was the biggest set we'd ever seen by a long way. Uh, they finally introduced the sort of big build and then they followed it by things like the saber and the new elephant this year. But th they didn't, that was unprecedented. They didn't do it. And when they introduced this new elephant, which was one of the favorite vehicles in everyone's game on sandbox and things, this was a big deal. So to introduce this mongoose as a bonus with the black recon, one of the most sought after figures to date, it was a good decision. And then they introduced this, which obviously they had a lot of desert figures and a lot of desert vehicles with the desert warhog EVA's last stand. So this was a good move as well. I really like the desert color and honestly, I can't complain. So they introduced three mongooses in 2011 and they were far from done. They introduced two in 2012. Now, after the success of the Mongoose in 2011, they put in these two, the Covertops and the Arctic. The Covertops, first off, came with the Flood Siege. Now, that set was far too expensive in Toys R Us and then became far too rare. And I only just got hold of it last year, which officially completed my entire Mega Bloks collection to date. So it was a, it was a good moment, but I, I, it, ju it just didn't justify the price at the time. But once I got hold of it, this Covert Ops Mongoose is lovely. He is the exact same mold as the other two before. And honestly, it was a bit weird to introduce a black and then a Covert Ops, but they did it with other things, so I wasn't too fussed. They then introduced the Arctic, which was in the Snowbound set. Now, the Snowbound set was great. I loved when they introduced Halo 3 maps. They did high ground and then they did snowbound and it just looked lovely. They introduced they introduced loads of things and I like it when they do callbacks to the games like Cauldron Clash, like uh, Floodgate, like any of those kind of sets. Uh, the Infinity Armor Bay is a new one as well. And once they introduced this, it was a really nice vehicle to get because they introduced loads of snowbound figures with the snowy boots, which most people didn't like. But if I kept them to the snowbound battlescape, they look great. And uh, this one was no exception. This one looked really nice and had a lovely detailing to it, especially with the black detailing on sort of like the camo. So they'd released four to date. They all look the same. Uh, in sort of aesthetic wise, but they were all slightly different in their own subtle ways. And then Mega Bloks took a gap year. In 2013, no mongooses were released at all. And that was a bit of a shock because they were really popular. Um, and I thought they'd just continue them and continue them and there was nothing. But then in 2014, present day, we are blessed with a very special mongoose. The new all-terrain mongoose that comes with a meal so basically what i feel like they did between the transaction of the green one to the uh, new sort of sleeker ones uh, they sort of changed little bits they listened to fan feedback and they mo moderated them slightly but this this was completely reimagined it's like they went to the drawing board scrapped everything and just went again everything is different the build is different, the pieces are different, or everything is new and reimagined. So I'm going to compare it between three of them. Obviously I'll use an old mould, a newer mould and the final one. So basically what they've done is they've taken it and they've taken it on a serious journey. 
The main difference I immediately noticed was they took out this front section. There is no piece there, which is all right. I don't actually like it much. Uh, I prefer the filled in section, but that's up to them. But they changed a lot. Let's compare to this one. They put a new steering wheel in that moves. They put mirrors that move round. It breaks apart a bit, but honestly, it's just when you've posed it that it stays like that. And they made a lot of differences. Now look at the back. They kept this piece that attached people on, and that was cool. People could still stand on, but instead of reaching over to this ridiculous thing and like sort of like lagging behind a bit, they could hold on to this new little piece here, which Mega Bloks have clearly added for just a bit more realism. So they can hold on to that, and they're secured really nicely, and it just adds to the uh, the effect. It makes it look more realistic, which is what Mega are trying to do. This one is based off a Reach Mongoose and just looks exceptional. They've made these smooth designs, but they've not made it into all one piece. It all it all flows on its own. It's got these lovely movable uh, pieces to attach the feet onto. It's got a nice grids. It's got redesigned wheels. If you look at the wheels from previous, you can actually see the hole where they went into. With this one, complete mold there. Complete mold on the wheel, and that looks excellent. All of it screams out how much Mega are trying to do to improve. They have just made a third style mongoose and I couldn't be happier with it. They've got printed detailing so no stickers, they've still got it at the front but they've bent it round a bit so it doesn't look as weird and I couldn't love this more. I think it's amazing, I think Emil looks amazing with it and I think Mega are only going to improve in the future. So I wish them best of luck with their next Mongoose design. I'm not sure if they'll make another one of these because this is based around Reach. They might make a different one for Halo 4 or maybe wait till 5. I think they might even make one of those Gun Gooses that was announced for Halo 2 Anniversary. So I am looking forward to see what they do with the future. But I hope you enjoyed this premiere sort of uh, pilot video of Megablox 101. There is lots to improve on as always and I'm going to try and incorporate images into my next one, try to do some different displays, maybe some stop motions incorporated, but let me know what you think and I'll try to take your comments on board. So uh, as always, please like, favorite and subscribe if you enjoy what you see. I'll see you next video, comment below what you want to see me do next. Drop pods will probably be the next one, I'm on holiday for now, but I will be getting straight back onto it when I get back. And thanks very much guys, we're signing off.